Grandma and Grandpa Save the Day, a dreaded curly whirly fish adventure, written by Alan Wade, illustrated by Sarah Wade. Grandma and Grandpa tied up their ship, the Ancient Explorer, on a tiny Italian island. Little knowing that Captain Smelly Toes and his pesky pirate crew were lurking out at sea on their ship, the Stinky Poo. Grandma and Grandpa went to the beach, where the locals were pointing at a new island which had suddenly appeared offshore, topped by a large red mountain. However, it was not an island, but the head of the dreaded curly whirly fish. He'd heard the region was famous for its roast chicken and spaghetti, and curly whirly wanted some for his tea. Captain Smelly Toes saw the new island and thought he could live on it. So he set sail in the stinky poo and planted his flag on top of curly whirly's head. This made curly whirly very, very grumpy and so he dived to the bottom of the sea, leaving Captain Smelly Toes to swim back to the stinky pool. Grandma, on seeing this, asked the locals to take their children to the mountains, fearing that Curly Whirly might resurface and gobble them up. What will happen to the children? Will Curly Whirly eat them up? What will Captain Smelly Toes do now that he is wet and angry? Will Grandma and Grandpa save the day? Here's a fun fact. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Here's another fun fact. The five oceans of the world are the Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, Pacific and Southern, also known as the Antarctic. A very cross and wet Captain Smelly Toes swam back to the stinky poo and ordered his parrot <coughs> Polly pieces of eight to fly to the island and look for gold to steal. Polly landed in a large cherry tree and spied the SS Getty. He saw its cargo of glistening yellow spaghetti and squawked, Gold! Polly was so excited he did a mighty squawk and pooped, which was unfortunate for Grandpa, who received a direct hit. You pesky parrot, he yelled. This startled Polly, who flew back to tell Captain Smelly Toes about his find. Will the pirates capture the SS Getty? Will Polly realise that all that glistens isn't gold? Will Grandpa get a clean shirt? Some fun facts. The smallest shark is the dwarf lantern shark, which is only a few centimetres long. Another fun fact. The largest known animal to have ever lived is the blue whale. At over 30 metres long and weighing up to 200 tonnes, it is larger than any known dinosaur and still lives today in our oceans. A rather smelly and grumpy grandpa trudged back to the ancient explorer to change his poopy shirt and return to grandma for lunch. Meanwhile, out at sea, the pesky pirates fired at the SS Getty. When suddenly, Curly Whirly crashed out of the waves and swallowed the ship in one gulp. But just as he was about to dive to the bottom of the sea, the Stinky Poo's cannonball smashed into him. This really hurt Curly Whirly, who spat out the ship and turned toward the island to look for some aspirin and a plaster for his very sore head. Will Curly Whirly find a pharmacy? Will Grandma and Grandpa be able to finish their lunch? Will Captain Smelly Toes be brought to justice? A fun fact. The deepest point in the ocean is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific at a depth of over 11,000 100 metres. By comparison, the world's highest mountain above sea level is Mount Everest at under 8,900 metres. Grandma, seeing that Curly Whirly was heading toward the island, asked the people in the calf to tie all their spaghetti together to form a large net. 
Meanwhile, worried that Curly Whirly may attack, Captain Smellytoe sent Polly to watch out for the huge fish. But Polly decided he wanted to eat more cherries and headed back to the island. He spotted Grandpa's big red nose and thinking it was a very large cherry, started pecking at it. This distracted Grandpa, who was dancing and flapping around, trying to dislodge the bird, and neither of them saw the dreaded curly whirly fish approaching. But Grandma did and grabbed the large spaghetti net, hoping to catch the fish. Will the dreaded curly whirly fish swallow up Grandpa and Polly? Will Grandma catch curly whirly? Will Grandpa's big red nose get better? A fun fact. New studies suggest that octopuses have two legs and six arms. They move across the seabed using their legs to propel themselves and use the arms for feeding. Grandpa, having escaped from the parrot, asked Grandma, Please pass me the cannon you keep in your handbag. Grandma gave Grandpa the cannon, along with a large cannonball, which they covered with the spaghetti net. They then lured the dreaded curly whirly fish and Captain Smelly Toes closer to the shore by wafting the smell of roasting chicken out to sea. Captain Smelly Toes and his crew had not eaten for days and couldn't resist the smell of roast chicken. So they sailed the stinky poo close to shore and in range of the cannon. Will Curly Whirly get caught in the net? Will Captain Smelly Toes eat chicken tonight? Will Grandpa run out of energy wafting the chicken smell? A fun fact, the largest ocean in the world is the Pacific, which covers about 30% of the Earth's surface. Curly Whirly could also smell the chicken and thinking the delicious aroma came from the stinky poo, swallowed the ship whole. Now the stinky poo was in Curly Whirly's tummy and he was in range, Grandpa fired the cannon. The spaghetti net unfurled and landed on top of Curly Whirly, who got his cone entangled in it and with the weight of the stinky poo in his tummy, he sank to the bottom of the sea. The island was safe again and Grandma and Grandpa were hailed as heroes. They had saved the day and everybody knew, including Captain Smelly Toes and the dreaded Curly Whirly Fish, not to mess with them. Nearly the end. A fun fact. Seahorses are the only fish that swim upright and sharks are the only fish with eyelids. A fun fact. A blue whale's tongue can weigh as much as an elephant. But down at the bottom of the sea, the dreaded curly whirly fish was eating his way through the spaghetti net, and Captain Smelly Toes and his crew, who were still in Curly's tum, were feasting on the tidbits. Will Captain Smelly Toes and his crew escape? How long will the world be safe from the pesky pirates? Will Curly Whirly get too fat on spaghetti to swim? More will be revealed in further adventures with Grandma, Grandpa and the dreaded Curly Whirly Fish. The End